what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today we're going to go ahead and talk about some leaks associated with call of duty black op cold wars but before we get into any of that do me that favor like the video subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell for notifications you already know what time it is in the background there'll be some call of duty cold war gameplay from the beta so do enjoy that as we get through the discussion today i have been making big moves in life with work and you already know the holidays are coming around hence the schedule for the channel is a little bit off but go ahead and bear with me because we're gonna get right back on track and it'll be all good moving forward. That all being said, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of discussion today. Them boys and girls over at Charlie Intel done done it again. They released an article basically spelling out all 21 score streaks that will be in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War upon release. Obviously they themselves didn't leak the info, but they damn sure made it clear and got it out to the masses and we all are thankful to them for doing that for us i'm not really gonna mess around with this i know you all want to know because i wanted to know so let's go ahead and run down the list and see exactly what we are going to possibly get upon release so starting off the 500 score we're going to get the incendiary bow haven't seen it in action yet but i'm really hoping that it's dope and it's bringing me back to black ops 3 with my girl who utilizes the bow as well so i think it's going to be basically the same mechanics if this actually makes it into the game after that at 600 score you'd get the rcxd the score streak no one asks for but is always in the game for some apparent reason at 700 score the player will get some additional armor i'm thinking sort of like in warzone with the plate you'd get a allotment of plates and you'd be able to go ahead and load them up give you some additional help you know help you win those gunfights moving on at 800 you get the spy plane we all know what that is we all know how that works so we moving forward 900 score you get the counter spy plane again we know that we know how it works we are pushing through this one's a new one at 1000 score you would get a flamethrower that would be dope and i really do hope that this is the case you guys already know anybody out there who have watched my gameplays during the ww2 series i truly enjoy the flamethrower and really do hope that it's in the game next at 1250 score a care package would be yours if your teammates don't steal it or the enemy kills you and grabs it before you could you already know how that goes so we moving forward at 1400 score you get the sentry turret basically the beast that's never left the sentry gun you already know we already know how this thing works so i'm not really gonna waste too much time on it 1500 score grants you the death machine minigun fit in death like in black ops 3 we all know how to play with the minigun we all always wanted to be the juggernaut with the big ass minigun now you're gonna get the chance basically at 750 score the player will get a cruise missile i'm guessing and this is exactly like the hellstorm missile or maybe even the predator missile uh we all hate it when it misses but i have a feeling it's going to be the same basic mechanics as the hellstorm missile when it comes to this 2000 score will get you an artillery strike during the beta i was getting murked by these things i was definitely a victim when it came to them so they can actually be effective so that could be a thing moving forward another new one at 2250 score the player would get a hand cannon i'm thinking sarah from black ops 3 again and it's starting to become a trend when i go down this list i'm hoping that hand cannon is actually more accurate and it doesn't disappear if some noob somewhere gets a lucky shot off with them sniper rifles and put you out before you even get to have a little bit of fun with it it could be good honestly it could be really good moving on at 2500 score you get a napalm strike we already got used to this we already started to love the smell of napalm in the morning during the beta so we're going to definitely go ahead and keep enjoying it upon full release of the game 3000 score gets you an air patrol or the modern version of an emp but restricted to airborne streak all it does is kill everything in the air that, that's pretty much it for 3000 score that might not even be worth it i don't know hopefully it does something more than what i'm thinking that it does at 3250 you get the war machine grenade launcher that would be dope me and my girl battery back in black ops 3 i used to go to work with this thing so i definitely love the war machine and would give it a chance and run it every 
now and again at least. At 3,500 score, the player would get a strafing run. Uh, this sounds like either the new Stealth Bomber or perhaps another Fart Barrage, aka the Thresher Bombing Run. I hated both of them because I play hardcore game modes and these streaks are literally only good for killing your teammates and getting you kicked out of the game. So definitely be aware of that if you play hardcore, but otherwise it just might be another Thresher. At 4,000 score, the attack chopper becomes available. We all know and love this big bad boy, so it's definitely going to be in the full game and it's definitely going to go to work. So we're not going to waste too much time on that one. At 5,000 score, you would get the HARP. I believe this is the new VSAT and will most likely work the exact same way. So it can't be shot down. It just gives you enhanced UAV capabilities. Again, we're going to have to wait and see, but this can also be pretty good. I can see myself using that as well. Moving on to 6,000 score, you would get the legendary chopper gunner. We already know. Always a favorite. We all know what time it is when that door comes sliding back. Already go time. At 8,000 score, you get a VTOL escort. I'm going to be completely honest with you. This is kind of wild for me because at 8,000 score, this thing better be badass. I'm talking this joint better be dope. I better not even have to shoot or even come close to death for 8,000 score. You better be on the ball. I don't know who's who's piloting this thing, but they better be doing some work. That's all I'm going to say. Finally, for 10,000 score, you would get the gunship. Epic Sauce 101. If you are able to actually get this, you're going to be raining death for a little while and it's going to be epic. The gunship has never been bad. That's it when it comes to the streaks. And I got to say, that was a lot of streaks. And if they are in the game, it would be pretty epic in my opinion. A lot of them actually seem to be coming from Black Ops 3 or the Black Ops series as a whole. So if that is the case, that's not a bad thing. In fact, I believe that that's a good thing. My only thing is is that when and where are you going to be able to get these streaks because based off the alpha and the beta getting 10,000 score is nearly impossible due to the matches being so short when it comes to the score limit or just your gameplay like how are you going to get all the way to 10 even with the little multiplier in effect that's a lot of score but I guess it's going to have to be interesting well this is definitely going to be interesting to see when the game fully comes out now when it comes to this information you obviously need to take it with a grain of salt none of this has been confirmed by the devs so definitely take it but i will say that they're probably going to tweak a few things associated with the game before its main release but because of the timing of it i think this joint might actually be true i think that these are going to be the streaks that are in the game just based off the simple time frame of when this leak actually came out and when the game is actually going to come out so definitely be on the lookout and that's just my opinion when it comes to it i think they're going to be in the game i like what i read i like what i saw and I'm looking forward to playing the game as a whole when it releases. It'll definitely be on the channel, so definitely look out for that. But that's about it on my end and on this one. What do you all think? Any streaks that you liked? Are you looking forward to the game? Let me know down in the comment section below. That all being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. Please do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a wonderful comment down below. Appreciate it, and I will definitely see you on the next one.